Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Today we are headed over to Sainsbury's and I don't know what to expect. If you remember from my Tesco grocery haul video, which I'm going to link up here and in the description box, you saw how confused I was. I didn't know what to put in my basket because it was my first time there. Unlike my little grocery shopping haul, which again, I'm going to link in this video and put in the description box. I have been shopping in Lidl for a while, so I know where things are. Are and whenever I go to Lidl, I am not confused because I'm kind of, you know, in sync <laughs> with this store in some way. So today I'm going to Sainsbury is much of an experience for me as it's going to be for you because it's my first time there and I do hope you enjoy shopping with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Let's head over to Sainsbury. <laughs> Hey guys, voiceover Hannah here. I was here on a Saturday, 25th of September. Yep, I was here on Saturday around 4.30 p.m. And let me just tell you, I was really surprised that a lot of things at Sainsbury on this day was half the price. There was a lot of slash on the prices. And I was also surprised to find an Aldi price match. It's as though all of these supermarkets are trying to compete with Aldi and I've never been to Aldi before. So I am definitely going to Aldi. My next video will probably be a grocery haul at Aldi. That's my next stop. Anyways, let's get into this video. I am loving it already. So um, in the veg section right now and switching over to this break pre section as at 4 30 everything was sold out everything was sold out and i was really surprised so things do go fast especially the baked goods so everything was sold out on that aisle i couldn't cover that but over on this aisle there is uh, what am i saying here <laughs> here is like the protein section there's a lot of beef and minced meat and chicken there's pork on this aisle and you can see the price slash that i was talking about earlier you can see it right here uh for this aisle we have pork joints you have what else do we have here yep a lot of pork a lot of meat a lot of minced meat as well on this aisle so seven pounds three pounds one pound thirty just depending on the size and the weight of the meat you're buying will determine the price and here you've got peanut spread for four pounds i can see the one for one pound there is the juice for two pound fifty as well i don't know what laundry item is doing on that aisle i don't know but let's move on here you've got donuts and bread and bagel for one pound and there's one for 85 pence i can see the crumpets for about 85 pence there's croissant for one pound 75 and this brioche rolls for 90 pence one pound 50 for these brioche rolls and there's bread here for one pound 60 uh, that's a bit more expensive than the bread at Lidl. I have a video on Lidl, by the way. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave it in the description box or somewhere in this video. I'm going to leave a playlist to all the grocery hauls I've ever done so you guys can knock yourself out. More bread, more rolls for 90 pence, £1.20 for that. I think that's like six in a pack. Yep, so that would definitely be more expensive. Here I'm showing you more bread for one pound ten pence. Um, this seeded bread for one pound sixty pence. Toasties, I really like toasties. That was eighty five pence. Um, eighty five pence for this four hundred grams uh, oatmeal bread. Is that pancake? That looks like pancake. And here you've got the Salton fried chicken for two pounds. Mm. 
and this Sainsbury's tempura mini fillets for two pound fifty. Yeah, you've got chicken. I think I bought one of these. Yeah, I did buy one of these. I think I bought the chicken drumsticks. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And that's for one pound thirty-five pence. Yeah, I don't know if that is normal or maybe I was really expecting Saturday, that if there wasn't going to be any slash surprise. I was, I was, I was really surprised. 7 p.m. So imagine my surprise that there was a lot of price slash on different items from 4 30 p.m. 18 egg bites for 18 mini egg bites for two pounds. This Cornish basis for two pounds 10. I remember I was craving meat pie and I went through the trouble of actually making my own made meat pie and even though i like homemade meat pie it took me hours to make and this look like a like a healthy replacement and it's just two pound ten i can buy this pop it in the oven and i'm ready to eat you know pastry i don't have to make it from scratch so i really like that and they have like a whole range of them um you have the one that is chicken and mushrooms um they, they just have like a whole range and i really like that i can choose the kind of pastry that i want See, they have mini beef pasties for one pound fifty. So this is the beef one. The one we just checked was the chicken type, and this one was the beef type. It's really tempting to buy these items that have been reduced, uh, or they are now like after price. But when you're buying these items, be sure to check the expiry dates. Uh, that's something I should check as well because I feel like maybe it's because. Um, they don't want things to stay till the next day obviously that's a genuine reason but maybe another reason is is that the items are almost are close to the expiry date and you may just buy them like you're excited that oh you got a good deal you buy them and you get home and you see that it's like two days to expiry so your fridge is stuck with almost expired food items is definitely something that you should check I've really learned that lesson especially with bread as well bread pastries all these um, perishable items are you know like two three days they're perishable you should really check and be sure including your eggs make sure you're buying everything fresh this saints beauty red pepper is for two pounds um they have tofu i don't think i've ever tried tofu before call me crazy call me local call me whatever <laughs> but i've never tried tofu before and i decided not to buy this one because i don't know what it tastes like i don't know what to expect um i decided to go back home do my research or maybe the next time i'm at sainsbury's i can buy this and try it out but it's only for two pounds and they have the one for two pounds fifty uh, there is this marinated chicken succulent king prawns and spicy chorizo. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it's five pounds <laughs> Have you guys ever tried um, ready-made meals in store like in store ready-made meals? I'm always afraid to try them I bought one just the other day and I was expecting a full meal But when I got home, it was so small. So it was very expensive as far as I'm concerned This vegetable biryani cost two pounds thirty. It's also been reduced. It was two pound eighty but now two pounds thirty So as I was saying I bought that um, in store ready to eat and I don't know. I wasn't super impressed I'm gonna try it again, but I always like to prepare my food fresh this shepherd's pie costs two pounds 25 pence and welcome to the fresh veggie section i'm giving you the b roll the tomatoes the cherry tomatoes plum tomatoes uh cucumbers organic cucumbers lettuce what else do we have here red mini course i mean i'm seeing some veggies i've never ever heard before in my life <laughs> spring onions i think i bought one of these i'm not sure i can't remember anymore but yeah spring onions what else carrots 80 pence for these carrots some one pounds wild rocket for one pound i bought this um 
yeah that's broccoli by the way and it's been reduced again reduced reduced a lot of items reduced at Sainsbury's what's going on <laughs> as I was saying I bought this uh, salad dressing specifically for wild rockets salad at Lidl and I only used it once I saw the recipe online used it once and I've not used it again it's just been in the fridge and this is one of the reasons why i don't like trying things trying some things right because you try it and you've used it once and it's just i don't there. know who took their drink and left it on the aisle ew but yeah don't do that don't do that do not do that not nice in this juice section so you can see two pounds two pounds almost everything here two pounds for the drink uh what else what else can see some desserts ice cream and stuff here uh, for two pounds three pounds one pound sixty for this tiramisu hi <laughs> Kelly stamps yeah this is yogurt I like taking yogurt I like buying yogurt four pound fifty here 85 pence for that Greek yogurt I like buying yogurt because I can make so many things with yogurt I usually add yogurt to my smoothies and I take smoothies like all the time so I I hardly ever run out of yogurt uh, this is now half the price at one pound this Activia yogurt I've never tried Activia before but I'm always seeing it at, at all these stores if you've ever tried it before and you like it and you recommend it leave it in the comments so that I can try it out and now we're in the milk section one pound 60 65 pence for the milk uh, what was I saying about the yogurt yes I like buying yogurt in my house because I can make parfait out of it I can make different kind of smoothies and stuff okay still showing you more uh, dairy products here 95 pence one pound um, showing you some new brands if you've never seen them before I hope you're enjoying the video I didn't know they sell clothes at Sainsbury's so good surprise there I'll probably shop for my clothes um, one of these days because i usually go to primark for that but and yeah i do have a video on primark and tk max in the all <laughs> playlist check it out guys i'm in the home section here at sainsbury's and this beautiful beautiful cup costs four pounds uh this one costs one pound twelve and four pounds fifty for these six pounds for that i love this plate i almost almost bought this plate i almost bought it because it's so nice i can just imagine uh, making some african dish or my salads in this kind of bowls they look presentable they look fashionable aesthetics i instagram i instagram <laughs> <laughs> they look really beautiful but they're not so expensive just two pounds 25 and for the bigger size five pounds this one three pounds 50 three pounds 25 three pounds 75 two pounds 75 depending on the size i almost bought this and i love this cup oh my goodness love love it this store should pay me for giving them free promo <laughs> and look at these beautiful cups you can never have enough mugs i always say you can never have enough mugs ah, you can never have enough mugs and here you have the spoons and spatulas and pizza cutter scissors and all this uh, pretty stuff i don't know why i paid this section attention but I, i'm just like you know i'm in the own section of the store let me just give you guys a tour of it um i almost bought this one for 16 pounds but i wanted another style i wanted the one with the handle because i don't have like a wooden um a chopper i don't have a chop a chop board is that what it's called i don't have the wooden type i only have like the plastic type and i'm thinking of upgrading my kitchen where so yeah that's something that i need in my kitchen this baking tray is for four pound fifty um five pounds fifty this baking tray five pounds 25 for that i don't do a lot of baking so i don't need this stuff but still showing you guys i'm back again to the cups section because i can't have enough of the cups i just felt like i should zoom in on it so that you guys can see it really beautiful really beautiful mm -hmm. 
still in the home section showing you guys these pots and pans and frying pans uh, serving dishes great i'm in the chocolate section who wants chocolate yeah chocolate if you don't mind destroying your tooth yeah go for it go for as many chocolate as you want you know what i'm saying anyways and the chocolate section just giving you like an overview of this chocolate maltesers for one pound 25 one pound 25 for these they come in different sizes so you see that one costs two pounds 50 one pound 50 for these smarties one pound 50 for these smarties guys i see like a lot of i was saying that i saw um all the price match and i'm sure i covered it in this video somewhere but you guys will see it and i'm going to aldi right i want to see what is so special about aldi and special about their prices and of course i'll report back to you guys you know how we do it <laughs> i'm showing you a lot of brands a lot of new brands um of chocolate and the pricing Stuarts. What's Stuarts? Have you ever tried that before? I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I'm trying not to buy any chocolate because you know, beach body, beach body goals. <laughs> One thing I did pick from this, uh, yeah, that's the ILD price match I was talking about. It's somewhere else in the store. Um, I don't know if I showed it earlier on in this video, but yeah. one thing i did pick in that section though i hope i showed it i'm sure i'm sure i did i'll let you know when we when we get there but one thing i did pick was doritos believe it or not i've never had doritos before <laughs> i've never had doritos before but i've I, you know i'm always saying it on social media i'm like let me buy it let me buy it i'm gonna buy it <laughs> i probably have another video coming up before um before the Aldi video, the Aldi all video, but I, I think the video is um, shopping at Boots, and I'm just saying that because I, I I panned over to the makeup section and I covered a lot of uh, makeup and stuff at Boots, so you know that section just reminded me of that video. So if you guys want to see that video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any video from me uh, Fries this is their big refrigerator. I really like this refrigerator I really like the the way this store has been arranged by the way. This is the Saints Buries at um, Others field in West Yorkshire. I like how the fridge has been arranged I don't know if it is like that in all the other stores But yeah, I like how the fridge has been arranged and I like eating chips one thing that I've it here since i got to the uk is chips i've been eating a lot of chips like if chips could grow on my head or if i could become a billionaire by eating chips i'm sure that um um i'll, I'll be a billionaire in pounds <laughs> because the british like fish and chips and i've been eating a lot of that and so you usually see chips in my video i should probably do a video where um, I visit a fish and chips store uh, you know I just have fish and chips fish and chips that I did not make you know but I, that should be interesting if you want to see a video like that on this channel let me know in the comments whatever request you have let me know in the comments <laughs> I am really enjoying this voiceover I feel like a radio show uh, presenter anyways um, yeah, a lot more ready-made ready-made news here. Chicken korma, uh, breaded chunky, whatever that is. Um, yeah, all of that, all of that. <laughs> yeah. Just exploring the refrigerator for you guys. A dog fillets three pounds sixty lot more stuff in the refrigerator a lot more stuff in the refrigerator is that my basket 
is that my basket? Because I don't know. I didn't buy a lot from this store, and oh well. I guess I, I took stuff to the store that I didn't buy from the store. <laughs> Anyways, this is Pringles. Yeah, I'm sure the Doritos I was talking about is on this aisle. Yeah, definitely on this aisle. The snacks aisle. Uh, yeah, it's on this aisle. Yeah, but yeah, you know, happy to buy the Doritos. Now I can see I've had Doritos. So next time I go to the store, be on the lookout for it, you know, so I can try different flavors. Yep. I saw these Doritos hot salsa and I wasn't sure to buy it because I really really wanted to buy it but I just didn't want it to be like the case of the salad cream I bought I, I used it once and I never used it again and I didn't want to like waste money so I wasn't really sure if to buy the, these Doritos but because I wanted to try Doritos I bought the snacks anyway but the next time maybe I'll buy the dip uh, because I, I didn't know what to use it for like if I buy the Doritos dip what will I use it for what will I use this hot salsa dip for I don't know I don't know I don't know somebody educate me so I bought the snacks and hopefully by the time you're watching this video by the time this video is up hopefully i have done like my research and i'm coming back to the store and i'm trying something we're buying something you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah i hope you're not feeling peckish now because of because of what you're watching right now i hope you're not feeling peckish that's not on me that's not on me <laughs> I am back from Sainsbury's and I didn't buy much. All I got was the Doritos and chicken drumsticks, both of which cost £2.60. If you're yet to watch my other grocery hauls, I'm going to leave the playlist in this video and in the description box below. So go check it out. And if you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you do not miss any videos on this channel because I'm doing hauls and i'm taking you through the length and breadth of the united kingdom so if you guys are interested in watching all my journey and my grocery hauls and all of that stuff don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next video bye